P. <laughs> Mr. Cruz. Nice to finally meet you, oh, bro. Truly, man. I was about to say the same thing, man. Hey, you right. are a hard guy to get in touch with. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, man. These are my streets out here. Yeah. I ain't mean it no type of way, man. But uh, <laughs> listen, Mr. Cruz, man, I I've been wanting to ball at Hammond Park for a long oh, time, man. I mean, so this means the world to look me. Look at it. Look at it, MP. Of course you have. Of course you want to ball here. But you got to prove that you love this game and that you love this beautiful city. And somehow, some way, Shep was able to do that. Shep. Now look, MP, Shep is a lot of things, not all of which I approve, but Shep has been coming here since he was a kid. Like, look, look at them kids over there, playing basketball. Yeah. Shep, he respects Hammond Park, and he knows what it's all about. For sure, for sure. I mean, he and I, we don't see eye to eye, so, you know. Oh, 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 I've noticed. I've noticed. Which is why I think you would appreciate the opportunity to play at this year's classic. <sighs> Mr. Cruz, man, you have no idea, man. I, like, these people need to know what I'm about out here. Mm-hmm. That's good. Because I've been watching you play, son. And I'm impressed. Which is why I think you should put together a team for this year's Classic. For real? Mm -hmm. For real? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't I, play with me, man. MP, I want you to be a captain. Okay? There's only four every year, so that's a big honor. No, no, I, I know what it means, man. I, I, Mr. Bruce, this means the world to me, man. Hey, Truly. Hey, you put in the work. You deserve it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, what, I gotta just put a team together or something like that? Yeah. Best of the best play out here. Pick any three people you want. Right, no man. such thing as a ringer. All right, all right. I think I got some people in mind. <laughs> Good. Now get to work. Yes, sir. I think you're going to change a lot of minds around here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Cruz. Endorse some of the best stories every year involve veteran stars who were, essentially, put out to pasture by the pundits. And they're dominated. Yeah, we're in a world, B.A., that moves very quickly and that seems to be obsessed with the next new thing. Take a guy like Al Horford, who for a stretch of his career, many consider to be past his prime, and then yet you see him in a new situation display the skills that have made him so successful for so long. Let's take a look at our starters for the Golden State Warriors. The dynasty all on the floor. Curry and Clay, the guards, with Draymond up front at the four. James Wiseman is out there with Andrew Wiggins. Curry against Garland. To the paint. Here's Thompson. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. They beat the Warriors during their last encounter in San Francisco. In their last game against this opponent, they secured the win because their second unit really stepped up. Certainly something to keep an eye on. We'll see how the rotations go this time out. Every night it seems to be different. Nice way to start the game. That's where you'd like to get your shots from. And after a few seasons of anemic offense, the Cavs have finally started to turn things around. Yes, they have. And they made a big step forward. Now, there's a nice balance to their offense. Pass to Green. Over Mobley, four on the clock. Wiseman, pass to Thompson. Sinks the tray. One of the most effortless strokes we've ever seen. Thompson can just make corner threes in his sleep. Garland against Curry. Clarkson with the ball. Launches the three. Drops in the three. Clarkson's got five. And <laughs> that's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Now here's Curry. 32 points for him. Last game against the Celtics in Boston. Taking on even more responsibility over the last few years. But this guy certainly has the shoulders to be able to carry it. He's making the most of every trip to the line, providing for his team. And there's Clarkson. That one's good. On the assist by Garland. He has seven. Well, just quick with the decision-making. Smart pass by Darius Garland. Here's Curry. Uses the glass on the layup. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Well, he's attacking, he's forcing the issue, and that's simply stated a terrific play. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Boy, four for four to get things started. Must have been a good shoot around this morning. Here's 
Thompson. Mobley grabs the board. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. Clarkson finds Mobley. Now here's Clarkson. 37 points his last time out. Pass to Allen. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Well, Jared Allen proving he's more than capable of beating good defense. That's nicely done. And here's Curry for three. Clarkson grabs a miss. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Lays it up and banks it in. Boy, absolutely. Then there's Mobley. Then there's Kevin Love. And it's Stevens in at the small forward position. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Clarkson up top. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. It's on Stephen Curry. He took the contact and had an opportunity to drain it. Allen, he's checked in for love. The Warriors also with a sub. Draymond Green, he's checked in for green. Poole against Clarkson. Poole shot is off. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Coming out of high school, Evan Mobley was a five-star recruit. He had his pick of college programs, and he finally settled on USC. And the Warriors with possession here. After the Cavs picked up a basket a moment ago. Curry, no good. MP is doubled. Out to the wing. Mobley outside. Mobley, a screen on pool. He gets it. He's seven for eight and really going at him out there. And it was brief, but Mobley's college career was filled with accolades, Doris. There's no doubt, B.A. How about this? In just one year with the Trojans, Mobley wins Pac-12 Player of the Year. That's a foul? Sorry, I thought this was a contact ball. That's quite a triple crown, and a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Cleveland. Ever since this game started, they've been attacking on the inside, looking for ways to bust up the defense and get high percentage looks. Yeah, and in addition, their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Boy, they've been fun to watch. That's going to be over and back. Not watching the line on that one. Like the team. Well, I think it kills your energy, and it certainly kills your momentum. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Garland's checked in. Pass to Allen. Wiseman with a steal. Up top Curry. Guarded by Garland. And it's hammered home by Green. Well, the gravity that Curry commands, it always leads to wide open looks for the guys around him. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the Cavaliers have surprised many with their ascension. Coach Bickerstaff said they had to be really patient through some difficult times, but his star center, Jared Allen, said, quote, no matter who's in front of us, big or small, we're going to go out there and fight till the end. Brian? Yeah, that's what got him here, Allie. Thank you. Now here's Clarkson. He's got 18. And nowadays, switchable defenders are in demand. Chris Paul, Kyle Lowry, Fred Van Vliet. Doris, these are very capable defenders. They are, B.A. They also happen to be very prideful competitors. So undersized guards take offense when you try to post them up. And the players you just mentioned, IQ, toughness, and heart, they all enter the equation. Green with the ball, covered by Mobley. Green, a screen. And here's Curry for three. And he gets it to go. Now two of six in the game. Well, the pick and roll is a play that Curry loves to operate. And he's always asking and seeking opportunities in this kind of situation. And they double up MP. Pass to Allen. Right wing. Inside. Here's Clarkson. Second chance shot. And he lays it up and in. Clarkson's got 22. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Outside Curry. Two minutes. Allen against Wiseman. Shoots over Allen. Offensive rebound. And that one's good. Wiseman. Wiseman's got his first two points of the night. Oh, beating everyone to the ball. Great activity on the offensive glass. Pass to Clarkson. Allen with a screen on Poole. 
Here's Clarkson. And it's Wiseman with the rebound. The Warriors trailing. The three ball. Curry, no good. I know he's got to be frustrated right now, but the team is fighting from behind. He's got to stay with it. Clarkson for three. It's rebounded by Golden State. Coming into this, having knots to win against Boston in their last game. You have to credit the game plan going in, especially at the offensive end, where they were just so relentless. And that's not an easy environment to play in. To score at the rate they did on the road says a lot about their intensity and focus. Now here's Clarkson. 22 points for him. Out left to the wing. Allen with a screen on Curry. Garland, the pass to Allen. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Garland's got four assists in the game. Well, so often we're talking about Jared Allen's length, and he does it nicely on the offensive glass right there. Here's Thompson. 17 points for him. Last game against Boston. Poole, the pass to Wiseman. And it's Wiseman with the jam. B.A., forget about attempting the long-range three to cut into that lead. Just attack the rim, my man. Man, that was sweet. Once again, an explosive highlight on the AT&T 5G slam can. Now here's Clarkson. Cash. He's 9 for 14 in the game. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They should continue to ride the hot hand. Here's Curry. Clarkson grabs a miss. Here's Allen. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers closing out the quarter ahead by 11 out a little more evenly in the second. The Cavaliers shooting continues to impress. 65% from the field. Kick it off the second half. Here's Steve Kerr's five. The core of the dynasty all on the floor. Curry and Clay, the guards, with Draymond up front at the four. Andrew Wiggins is out there with James Wiseman. Garland, the pass to Clarkson. Five to shoot. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Garland's got five assists tonight. Always a bonus when points come from unlikely sources. And you can see this guy's been working on that shot. Thanks. Well, MP in their last game against the Grizzlies was simply terrific. He ended up with 37 points, and the defense never found a way to force him out of his rhythm. He had his handprint all over that game. Put up some big numbers. Guys, back to you. Good stuff, Allie. Tremendous effort from him in that last game, Grant. Yeah, B.A., I think he pushed them to the win through sheer force of will. Let's give credit to his teammates for continuing to find this guy. They knew he had the hot hand, and they were willing to ride it all night long. And the Warriors shooting 36% for the game. Not great. The three from Thompson on target from range. Thompson's got six. How about Clay Thompson, a career average of north of 40%. You better get a hand up when he's in three-point territory. Clarkson for three. He can't hit that time. Golden State has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Green, the pass to Wiggins. On the wing, Curry. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. Nine points in the game. Well, you have to have innate sense of when to come off and get ready to catch and shoot. Stephen Curry's been doing it a long time. Clarkson against Thompson. Clarkson outside. Over Green. Here's Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. We know on unequivocally. Checked in for the kick. The Cavaliers leading. Mobley out there with Kevin Love. Then there's Mitchell. Then it's Darius Garland. And it's Clarkson in at the three. That's the five for Cleveland right now. And this is why guys love playing with Donovan Mitchell. Can he score it? Yes. But he loves to set his teammates up. The three from Curry. Pure from three-point range. They finally found their shooting touch after a rough first half. 
Garland, the pass to Mobley. Clarkson for three. It's another three for Cleveland. That's his fifth triple of the night. Two in the first half, three in this one. Huge production. Garland against Curry. Wiseman, a screen on Garland. Oh, what a play by Stephen Curry. Curry's got six points in the quarter. And how many times have we seen this? Curry always has an answer from three. Deflects the pass. Stolen by Thompson. On the wing, Thompson. Three-pointer. Clarkson with the defensive effort. Part of why they have this lead, they're doing the little things out there. That one falls. Clarkson's got 11 points here in the second half. Wow, he doesn't make those kind of plays too often. Sweet move inside. Green with a screen on Garland. Curry's shot is off. Cleveland has gone 2 of 2 from outside so far in the fourth. And finished off by Garland. Oh, above the rim, Mr. Garland. His teammates are loving it. Outside, DiVincenzo. Outside, Curry. DiVincenzo with it. Now guarded by Mobley. And again, no good by Golden State. Cannot believe he missed that one. Ooh, I'm sure he can either. Pass to Mitchell. Love a screen on DiVincenzo. Clarkson for three. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. Mitchell's got his fourth assist with that last one. Here's Thompson to stop the run. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got 11 rebounds in the game. Grant wouldn't be a bad idea here to slow it down. Yeah, the coach is definitely looking for patience and execution. And here's Clarkson. And the three off target. Now Curry. Let's the three fly. Love grabs the miss. Cleveland has got six out of 15 three so far in this game. Two minutes. Outside Mitchell. Two minutes. Pass to Clarkson. Now here's Love. There's the triple. Connects from downtown. Love's got his first bucket of the game. Warriors call timeout. The score. This team is doing a great job continuing to execute. Jared Allen, he's checked in for the Cavs. Stevens comes in for Donovan Mitchell. Andrew Wiggins checked in for the Warriors. Poole comes in for DiVincenzo. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end, and you love his confidence. Cleveland has gone 4 or 5 from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Pass to Garland. Clarkson with a screen on Wiggins. Kicks it out to Clarkson. The three. It's another three for Cleveland. They came out and had a statement win with their performance tonight. A fantastic effort to get it done here for the Cavaliers. Tonight, they got everybody in on the scoring. Had nice passing, which led to good looks. Just solid play by these guys. And with another win in the bag, they've racked up 46 total on the year. And even though this season series was only two games, a sweep is still a sweep. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for MP. And I love his composure. He didn't try to do too much or force things, but he was ready to take advantage of every opening the defense gave him. Got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Wiggins with it. He's picked up by Garland. And the shot's good by Wiggins. Wiggins. Well, they needed this run way earlier. At some point, it's too little, too late. Yeah, but then again, this run came against a team that may have felt it had already won, and you get the sense it let its guard down. And the shot is good by Garland. With very little left on the clock, they've got a comfortable lead, and the fans are loving it. Well, they're getting ready to celebrate, no doubt. They know it's theirs to lose at this point. Here's Curry. Doesn't go that time. Great D that time from Allen. Here's Cleveland. 
They're on an 18-7 run. Here's Clarkson. Misses the jumper from the wing. And here are the Warriors now. It's an 18-point game. Here's Poole. And so it's the Cavaliers taking care of business in this one. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just looked lost. And the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Ali LaForce, Doris Burke, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson alongside our 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. So long and good night, everyone. Nikki, what's going on? <laughs> How are you? Good to see you. So oh, I've got a few questions for you about the classic. <laughs> I don't know that's what you want to talk about. Well, what's your status? Are you playing? Oh, yeah. The classic is something that definitely excites me. I mean, just the history of it, how many great players have gone there and, you know, continue to hoop at their highest level, things like that. Have you have had a chance to connect with Kenny Cruz? Yeah, yeah, I've actually had the honor to, yeah. You know, wow. you can't hoop at Hammond without his say-so. And it was so important for me to do things the right way, to respect the tradition. So, yeah, we had a nice conversation. He's a cool dude. I bet. <laughs> so, what are your thoughts on going up against Shep Owens? I mean, he was the captain of last year's championship team. You know, Nicole, um... Since the first day I got to this city, everyone has been telling me that this is Shep's city. And I took that personally. So slowly but surely, I've been making it mine. I got the hip-hop heads on my side, the fashionistas, the entrepreneurs, and obviously in the basketball fans as well, NBA, anyway. But Hammond Park? That's like, that's like the last thing between me and total domination. That's Shep's home court, and the only way to topple a bully is to take him down on his home court. So, who are you running with? Ooh, foo, 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 foo. I, uh, I got some heavy hitters on my squad, but uh, you have to wait the showtime to find out. Oh, all right. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your time, MP. I'm so looking forward to seeing you at the Classic. For sure.